There we are. Hey, how you doing, Craig Dweller here? With my good friend Stanley. Stanley, hello. Good morning, gentlemen and ladies. Yes. It's a pleasure to be out here. Absolutely. Fabulous weather. Spectacular, I might add. I know, right? Yeah. Beautiful. We're hiking up the uh, Appalachian Trail Long Trail this Saturday morning. Uh, heading for Stratton Mountain. We're going to go up the tower, back down the other side, camp somewhere around Stratton Pond, and then hike out in the morning. So it's just a quick overnighter. But I couldn't pass up this opportunity for the, uh, you know, the situation at hand, which is premium hiking weather. Foliage ain't bad. Yeah, the foliage, foliage is pretty good, too. Absolutely stunning. All right, we'll see you down the trail. I can't replace the days like today. All my fans. <laughs> Stanley taking a layer off. It's about probably 50, 55 degrees right now. It's supposed to get up to 60, so yeah. Already feeling the bang, the burn. Feeling the burn. Smell that air, Stan? Pardon me? Smell that air. Doesn't it smell great? It smells like Christmas. Balsam, yeah. <laughs> nice lookout. Cool. Not sure what lake that is. Titicaca. I don't know if it's Titty Kaka, maybe. I just felt like saying it. What is it? Like is that, what? Titty Kaka. Is that a uh, a vessel or an island or something? I think it might be an island, but I don't have my glasses on, so no. don't hold me to it. And what's in the... Well, we passed that. The, that string of power lines or cell tower. What's on that next summit? I'm sorry. I don't even see the power lines. Really? I don't There's have my glasses. Structures or something out in that next summit. Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure if that's Somerset Reservoir. I'm really not sure. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, we'll have to do our topography maps. Yeah. So I think we're pretty close to the summit. So let's go. What's that? It's about to go there. <laughs> yeah, don't go that way. <laughs> so this is the little uh, caretaker hut that's occupied by an older couple I saw on YouTube actually they I guess they're up here for six five or six months a year staying in that so that's amazing uh, let's see what the temperature is in the shade it's looking at 45 44 degrees in the shade so there you go so we're, uh, this summit's awfully crowded, as expected it would be on a beautiful Saturday morning. Actually, it's a uh, quarter to one now. But we're going to wait. There's only four people allowed at a time on the tower, so we'll wait. We're in no rush, and we'll go up, get some views. Uh, sort of, but I'll try not to. These windows are kind of dirty, but, yeah. yeah. That's what they are. Uh, Did you set up for this kind of a cocking job? 
We're, no, that's inferior. <laughs> oh my god. It's probably all asbestos. Call the inspector. Yeah. Dude. So these I'm windows are dirty. Inspector. There's a ski lift over there. That's what I was looking at earlier. The uh, ski lift. I forgot the name. Stratmon, yeah. We're on the Strat Mountain Tower. Visibility's not that good. I'm gonna go down below. We're not looking through the glass. Yeah, I concur. Yeah, I'm gonna go down there. Oh, this is crooked too, man. They got pink folks. Jesus. You can't see good up there in the glass. There we go. So yeah, that's the Strat Mountain ski area over there. I think that's Okemo over there. It's set up there anyway. Yeah. Caretaker's hut. I'm not sure what that is. Somerset Reservoir? We'll have to look. Yeah. Let's break out the maps. Uh, we're heading down to there. That's Stratton Pond. We're going to camp so whacked. What do you mean it's whacked? It's way out there. It's <laughs> like three miles. It's yeah, nothing. Three miles is a little bit more than that. <laughs> oh, you want to go back? You, you, yeah, can we re return to our car? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get down. There's people waiting. There's only four allowed at a time up here. Yeah. We count as four. We... Check it out. We got packs way down there. <laughs> you waiting for us? <laughs> All right. We're out of here. Did you get anything up there? So now we're descending Stratton Mountain, heading towards Stratton Pond. Just a beautiful forest. Treacherous. Treacherous, look at your feet. But don't look at your feet. <laughs> Am I bitching again? No, you're not bitching. At least I don't hear you. Hey, it beats a day in front of the tube. That's right. Like Stan said, it beats a day in front of the tube. Ow. Yeah, right? <laughs> Oh man. Get back. Look at these. Take a bite? Yeah, eat those. So, I asked Stan to get a little bit of birch bark before we get to camp for the fire tonight. Stan, Stan, that's good. That, yeah. Sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good. That, that should do it. All right, cool. There's a nice water source, folks. We're good, though. We're almost oh to the... Oh, my gosh. This has been tremendous. We're almost to the lake, so we're good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How's it going, Stan? I'd like to say it was well worth the effort, and it is now. Take a peek. That's beautiful. We're on a lake. We can't find a site. Yeah, yeah we're, we're on... We're pursuing it. We're on the north end of Stratton Pond trying to find one of these uh, elusive campsites, but passing by this little raised punch in here it's a good idea because this is pretty wet just an absolutely gorgeous day or afternoon we started we came down off the at way over there and uh, the sign said uh stratton pond campsite this way and it's been a ways haven't seen any yet but anyway the plane going overhead of course just beautiful, mid-October, southern Vermont, just wonderful, except for a plane. So we found this uh, kind of a stealth campsite with a little fire pit. The lake's over there. They don't allow you to camp too close. But um, yeah, I got stand set up with the tent here. Relatively flat spot, it's not bad. The uh, Lunar Solo, LE, they all set up. He, Stan hasn't slept in a tent since he was like in his 20s, so that was uh, at least 60 years ago. Uh, but anyway, yeah, he's, he's looking forward to it. And I'm, the only place I could string my hammock, um, you know, there's a group of trees here, obviously, but that young tree there was just not strong enough. I tried that, that's too dead. That's too far away. So what I did is I came over here 
and I was able to go from there whoosh, down to there. I just had to clear a little of the underbrush, but yeah, that's where I'm hanging tonight. I gotta get my tarp up now. What a great hike in. Um, there's a lot of people around, but it's a beautiful Saturday, like I said. Um, so there are, there's a young group of gentlemen down there camping. There's a few up the hill. So yeah, I'm gonna get camp set up and um, go down and get some water, filter that so we have water for the evening and probably get some food in us. Uh, we're both kind of hungry. Look at a beautiful birch tree. Autumn at its best here, Southern Vermont. All right. Stan's little oasis. Got a great fire going. Nice job, Stan. We do have some pyrotechnic techniques. Nice. Thank great job. I'm, I'm very pleased. Yeah. Beautiful. A wonderful supper. Yeah. It's been quite an adventurous day. Beautiful I, evening. I found new limits. New limits? All set up over there in the woods. Really tired, looking forward to a good night's sleep. Yeah. Are you rolling? Yeah. Hey, are you rolling? <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you rolling? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Hey, it's 7.30. I have to say it's a good exhausted. I'm sorry? I'm exhausted. Yeah, we had a long day, actually. Yeah. Did a lot of work. Did yeah. A lot of walking. Yeah. Had a nice meal. Wonderful fire. Noisy neighbors. Yeah, the neighbors are kind of noisy. <laughs> Beautiful fire. Nice job. Big old moon up there. I don't know if you can see it through the trees, but yeah, it's beautiful. What? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Good dogs. What a great fire. It's pretty appropriate. It's nice, right? Yeah. Doesn't have the sparks like the boys. No, the boys over there got a sparker going on. All right, good morning. Camp's picked up. Uh, yeah, no trace at all, right? Not looking good. Just a fire pit that was already here. Clean burn, I would say. Pretty clean burn, yeah. Beautiful day. A little breeze going. We got to get out from behind this lake and hit the trail. Good morning, Stanley. Good morning, folks. Thanks again. Yeah, no worries. All right, let's do this. Good morning. Something, huh? Beautiful. Again, a flawed weekend. Got a ride. That's right. This beautiful balsam at Birch area. So we decided to take a shortcut of sorts. It's gonna cut off maybe, I don't know, half a mile, three quarters of a mile. We're on the uh, Catamount Trail now. It runs up parallel with the uh, Long Trail AT for a little ways. So this is gonna get us down the Kelly Stan Road a little closer to where the truck is, so that's cool. But just a, just a beautiful forest here. Sun's not actually out right now, but it, it's in and out, it's beautiful. Man down. You gotta be careful of that, it's slippery. So I'm 
obviously we're back in the truck. Made good time getting out. Um, it's 11 o'clock, 11 a.m. I'm heading out. Getting off of uh, Kelly Stan Road here pretty soon. Actually, it's like eight miles away, but did you have a good time, Stanley? It was wonderful. It was an exceptional weekend. I saw a lot, did a lot, enjoyed it thoroughly. Good. Thank so, you. You're welcome. It's a pleasure.